counter clock this up and you can see how nice this is because we're not creating active P. Let it out just a hair. We're looking for systole and diastole. There you can see we see early diastole on the A electrograms. And when we do VT mapping, we're looking to see all the colors. We also do it with eight simple colors. Purple and white is where we do the QRS onset. So that actually tells you where the breakout site is. This is more of that parahisian VT morphology that we're seeing. Is that correct? We see live. Show them 12 lead, please. They, they all see the 12 lead as well, right? Great. Is that blue real there, News? OK. So we're seeing purple and white down there. We're drifting down slowly, roving with this grid. Lovely. Coming down. We're seeing breakout away from the deceleration zone here. But where's diastole? The early diastole, as we move up here, is above this little line of block. We're coming underneath the aortic valve. Let's just get a little bit more movement here. How is our blood pressure? Our blood pressure is 70 over 40. Our map is 51. We'll tolerate anything above 50. OK, and then be ready to cardiovert here in shock. Right, let's do that. Great, our map is still 50 here. Go ahead and play raw what you've got there, Nathan. Great, boom, it breaks out, figure of eight back up to the top. So to ask, answer Melissa Robinson's question is, could this be focal? This one doesn't appear to be. This one appears to be reentrant, and it's a partial circuit because 85% of SCAR VTs are three-dimensional, and they're not all reflected on the surface. Here you can see there's some activation gaps here. It goes back up, and then there's breakout distally. It's a beautiful example of a 3D VT where we're not seeing all of it with very consistent contact on this grid catheter. Where would we terminate this thing? Well, we'd probably terminate it at where the pinch point is. 